Hey everyone, I am so excited for today's video because we actually have a mystery package unboxing. And when I say mystery, I really do mean mystery because I didn't even know I was being sent anything until I picked this bad boy up from the post office. So I really have to thank Eric from Click Trends AU for sending this awesome little package my way. I really have no idea what to expect. Actually, before we get into it, I do just have to quickly show you guys something really special. Okay, here we go. So this is actually a custom made stand done by my dad. So I came to him with the idea for a stand for my trunks and freezer figure. And he's been playing with resin a bit. So when I found that out, I thought you have to make a four star Dragon Ball for me. <laughs> so yeah, this stand is made out of wood. He built it, I painted it, and I haven't painted for a while, so the paint job actually isn't as good as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. And yeah, he made a four star resin Dragon Ball, as you can see. And there's actually a battery pack on the bottom that lights the ball up. So I'll insert some footage here now of what it looks like on the front and the back, and also what it looks like when I actually have my figure on it, on a rotating stand. So my idea was I was trying to recreate the sky that's in the scene where Trunks actually cuts Mecha Freezer in half. So that's why I painted it blue with some clouds. And I'm actually just really blown away by this, honestly. Like, it just is so special to me and it really touches my heart that I was able to create something with my dad for my love of Dragon Ball. It really isn't perfect by any means. There's actually a lot of imperfections, but honestly, to me, that actually makes me love it even more because it really just shows that it's a one of a kind handmade thing. So yeah, this is just really special to me and I wanted to share it with you guys. And yeah, what can I say? You're the best dad. Thank you so much. I'm actually a little scared because this box was a bit heavy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show everything. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to show. I'll have to take things out one at a time. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh, okay. Woo. All right. This is going to be a juicy one, people. I see some Pokemon stuff already. So, okay. All right. Here's a little note. I'll quickly read this first. Hi Leah, thank you for being a bright light in the TCG community. Aw, thank you. Your genuine affection and positivity for the hobby always shines through in your videos. Aw. Please enjoy this box of Pokemon goodies and hope you get some epic pulls, Eric. Aw, thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate that so much. And yeah, what a beautiful note. I'm definitely keeping that. But really, I have to thank you guys because... Your generosity really just keeps me going. And like I said, I love connecting with people all around the world over this hobby and our love for Pokemon and Dragon Ball and all the things. So yeah, I really, really have to thank you guys. You guys, yeah, really keep me going. And yeah, it's just, it gives me all the feels. <laughs> okay, so first up, there's something that's in here. It could be an art print, I don't know. Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. <gasps> this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this Lapras, guys. And this beautiful girl. Your drawing skills are just on point, dude. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. I'm definitely gonna be hanging this up. Oh my goodness, this is so great. And I love that it's signed too. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could draw, dude. This is awesome. Wow. Okay. Ooh. All right. I don't need anything else. This is just perfect the way it is. <laughs> oh, all right. So we have some single Pokemon cards, I think. And I love that you packaged it in a way where I can't even tell what's going to be in here. So going to be a very nice surprise. And thank you for putting it in a top loader to keep it protected. Really appreciate that. All right. It might just, okay. I think it might just be one card. 
let's take this out. Ooh, okay. I don't know if this code is going to be valid, but hey, there you guys go, just in case. And all right, let's do this. <gasps> oh, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, you know, you know I love Lugia. Lugia is my absolute favorite. I've said that so many times, but with good reason. Like, look how epic this card is, people. Oh my goodness, and I'm pretty certain this is the regular Lugia V from Silver Tempest. And it's the alt art version that I've been trying to chase for a while. Didn't unfortunately get it from all of the blister packs that I opened, but I love this card as well, actually. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's just so epic with Lugia just coming out of the sea, just looking so fierce. So oh, thank you so much, Eric. I adore this. Okay, by the look of it, I think there's an ETB in here. And I actually haven't opened one of those before. I've only opened blister packs and UPCs. So this will be my first ETB. Oh my goodness. Eric, you are so generous. Thank you so much. By the way, I think I forgot to mention. So Click Trends AU is a eBay page that Eric runs selling all kinds of awesome TCG goods, both Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and way more. I think even Yu-Gi-Oh and Digimon, all kinds of awesome stuff. The only thing is he only ships within Australia. So if you're in Australia, please check him out. He has some really good prices for his goods as well. Okay, I've taken the ETB out of the box and I just noticed that there's a little pin here too. And if I'm correct, then it looks like it could be the Cascade Gym Badge because it looks like a little uh, drop of water. So, oh, which is so awesome. I always wanted the actual gym badges from Pokemon from the first generation. I never ended up getting them, but I had always wanted that little set. I think there's eight in total. Yeah, so this is really, really awesome. And it is, it's a Cascade gym badge. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've adjusted my camera, so hopefully you can see this a bit better now. And all right, so first impressions, this box actually feels really nice and I love the artwork too. I will be honest, I'm not familiar with these starter Pokemon at all. I'm a first and second gen Pokegirl. So yeah, I don't really uh, know who these are, but they look adorable. Maybe these are just energy cards. I might have to open that just to confirm. Oh, a promo card. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Oh, Pikachu. That is so adorable. Oh my goodness. Right, that's going to look so nice in my binder as well. Okay. All right. Here's another code card for you guys. Enjoy, please. And, and we've got some sleeves too. Okay, awesome. All right. And we have a bunch of packs here. These look really cool already. So yeah, let's crack into these. Yeah, I have no idea what the chase cards are in this set either. I could be wrong, but there might be a trainer card. I think people want to get Iono, I think. That could be from this set. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so Scarlet and Violet. Oh, is it four or is it... Is it three? I'm just going to do three and see what happens. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I totally botched that. <laughs> but okay. Wow. Oof. I can't even see what this is. Bax Calibur? Wow. But hey, it's got a, a gold star. So I think that's a pretty good hit. And... Honestly, this really reminds me of like a Jean-Michel Basque <laughs> artwork, just with the the way that it's um, designed all down here with the, the lines and everything. It really reminds me of his art style. So, wow. Okay. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. So, <laughs> so it's not three. Maybe it's only two then. I'll, 
I'll figure it out. Oh, okay, another hit. Maybe it's only one then. Okay, I'm just gonna keep trying until I eventually get um, the right number of cards, but <laughs> first pack, so what can you do? Um, but okay, so this has two stars, so I think that's good. Okay, so yeah, it must only be, must, maybe it's only the one then, or two. I'm not sure, but hey, we've already got the hits, so let's just go through this. Hopip, Noibat, oh, Paldian Whopper, or Whooper. Friggybax, Goth Gothitelle, these are all like so new to me, and Sandy Gast, okay. So I don't have my sleeves on me, so I'll just put these aside. All right, there's the Cody for you lovely people. Okay, I'm just gonna do one this time. Just one. Okay, there we go. See, I knew I'd get it eventually. <laughs> All right, so we got some fire energy. Crowagunk. Rikidi. Oh, Magnemite, the OG. Phalanx. Florigato. Oh, that's actually really cute. Quaxwell, Delivery Drone, <laughs> Murkrow, Gothita. Is there going to be a hit? Ooh, a Mimikyu Hollow. Very nice. All right, there's the Cody for you people. Let me know if you guys are using the codes as well. <laughs> All right, uh, we got some energy. Glimmit. Sluck off. <laughs> that's a weird name. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Tandy Mouse. Aww. How adorable. Sprigatio. I think that's, yeah, it looks like it's one of the starters. Talonflame. Oh, sick. Heracross. Finally, someone I recognize. <laughs> Orangaroo. Oh, Superior Energy Retrieval. That's actually really dope. And behind it, we have a hit. <gasps> oh, okay. I think I just got that. Yeah, I did. I got that before, but in a um, in a different style card. So this is Wuchian. To be honest, I have no idea what this even is. It looks like a poncho made out of leaves. <laughs> but hey, it's got two stars. So that's a good sign. I'll take any hits I can get. And of course, I'll make sure I look them all up later just to, yeah, see how much they're all going for. I don't know if any of them are particularly juicy, but yeah, we'll um, we'll find out afterwards. So we got fighting energy to start off this pack. Kumbi, oh Jigglypuff. Uh, uh, oh, how do you say this one? Girafarig. I do remember it from Pokemon Gold and Silver. Just cannot remember how to pronounce it. <laughs> okay. Passimian. Noibat. Oops. Oh, Hopip. Reverse. Big hit. Oh, Slaking. Hollow. Very cool. I've just noticed as well, every single um, pack that I've opened has had a black border code card. But I think when I opened Obsidian Flames, that's also Scarlet and Violet, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that also just had black border code cards for everything. So um, yeah, I don't know if you can get white border cards in this particular set, but if not, I'm actually glad that they've just left it like that because it really does make the, the whole thing a bit what is that, by the way? Orthworm. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, it makes the whole thing a bit more exciting because you don't know whether there's a hit or not. It's definitely more of a surprise. All right, Cody. Boom. One card to the front. Fighting energy again. All right. Makuhita. Pincher, pincher chin. Pincher chin. Say that five times really fast. Pincher chin, pincher chin, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> magic up. Uh, not even gonna try. <laughs> Falconer, that's cool. 
Gothy Tell. Ooh, that is a fire Gyarados. Oh my goodness, I will take that. That is absolutely sick. And behind it, ooh, Tyranitar Hollow. Okay, this set is actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll even buy some blister packs of it or something eventually. <laughs> Alrighty, so <laughs> we got this guy again. Oh, same guy. Magikarp, Grusha or Grusha. Oh, Primeape, one of the OGs from the first gen. Love that. Oh, another reverse Hopip. And Tinkaton Hollow. Boom. Let's do this. This is our second last pack as well. So, oh, that's a really cute Slowpoke. Oh my goodness. That's so adorable. So, yeah, hopefully we can get some last pack magic. Oh, there's a. There's a bug that just decided to impose on my video. How dare you? <laughs> All right. Corviknight. Makuhita. Mm, don't think I'm going to try and pronounce your name, but hey, you look cool. You kind of look like a dragon or something. All right. Behind it. Oh, I think there's something juicy. Oh my goodness. A Pikachu EX. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. I love what they've done with this, with the both the kind of rainbow hollow foil, but also the stars and that kind of galactic effect as well. Oh my goodness, I think this might be my favorite hit so far. You cannot go wrong with a classic Pikachu, honestly. Last code card for you guys. All right, one to the front, here we go. Energy. Oh, Slowpoke again. Rock Ruff. That's actually really cute too. Lit Leo. I'm pretty certain I just got all three of them in the previous pack that I just opened. All right. Talonflame. <laughs> that giraffe Pokemon that I that I just can't get my head around. <laughs> and behind it. Oh, okay. Lux Ray Hollow. I mean, it still looks cool, but yeah, I think that Pikachu was probably the best hit. Okay, so out of all of those packs, these were the main hits that we got. And I don't think that's too bad, actually. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Like I said, I'm going to look these up afterwards, though, just to see how, they're, um, how they are price-wise. But even still, I actually really like this one. Like I said, it reminds me of um, Basquite and his art style. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool, even though I can't even make out what the Pokemon looks like. Um, yeah, it's still really cool. And yeah, definitely, definitely love the Pikachu the most. So once again, thank you so much, Eric, for sending this awesome surprise package my way. You really didn't have to, but I truly, truly appreciate it. And I really love the kind words that you wrote in your note. And also this really awesome drawing that you did. I'm just honestly blown away by this. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be messaging you after this and yeah, thanking you once again. And yeah, I might even send a little package your way one day. So yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Please check out Eric from Click Trends AU. His links will be in the description below. And again, if you're in Australia, please check out his eBay page because he has some of the best inventories for TCG goods. So yeah, you will not be disappointed. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for being here once again, and I'll see you in the next one.